uh, I always think of any talent as competition. Really? Anybody. Uh, <laughs> I, I love I it. Mean, across genders. <laughs> I, mean, I love it. It doesn't matter. Surya is uh, playing uh, an incredible last minute appearance. Fab. Um, and that should take the story a little further, probably into part three. Air France presents Flying High at Cannes, a series in which we talk to some of the most accomplished Indian artists at the Cannes Film Festival. Let's talk about Vikram, which has been generating such massive excitement since the teaser dropped that once upon a time there was a ghost, okay? Everyone has waited. It's one of the most anticipated films of the year. Are you nervous at all about the hype or because you're such a veteran, you're like basically, as Hitchcock said, playing the audience like an organ? <laughs> no, I, I wish I could. <laughs> I wish they are so pliable. <laughs> Well, probably he knows better, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not nervous because I've seen the film. I'm, I'm only concerned certain times, certain good films don't get enough exposure. Thanks to the technology and the net, the web, it's uh, any film with due diligence will get its exposure. Yeah. And that's what has happened to yeah. me. And my fans and uh, people uh, in the web, uh, they've taken it up as if they've been asked to do it. <laughs> With so much uh, fervor. That, Absolutely, uh, it's got millions of views. Them. Yeah, we can yeah. only thank them. Yeah, yeah. And say, keep, keep at it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. What was the atmosphere on this set like with you, Fahad Fasil, and Vijay Setupati? Was there any competition at all? The whole thing is about I'm. Uh, I always think of any talent as competition. Really? Anybody. Uh, I, I love I, it. I mean, across genders. <laughs> I, mean, I love it. It doesn't matter. But that, that doesn't mean for me, uh, the winner should be the the film. The film. So it doesn't matter who uh, get that topical high in that moment. Yeah. The scene, I've been taught by my guru, Mr. K. Baljan, he says, don't ever steal a scene. Uh, you'll get your chance because the director is concerned about fixing everybody in their place and building the film yeah. to a crescendo. So don't come and spoil the show by trying to steal the scene. Don't wave or don't bomb a photograph <laughs> like that. It's, don't distract the scene. So I am an obedient scene player and I like uh, comrades who would work like that. And these people, it's one thing to work with rank amateurs where you have to take care of them. It, you have to do a bit of babysitting. But these guys have grown up guys, the stallions, and uh, so all I have to do is take care of myself. And above all, this group of, uh, that I have uh, working in Vikram, they all uh, love me so much. And uh, that's, that's a great booster. So you're wow. in good company. It works like a trampoline. Right, it, right. You go higher than you can possibly jump. Because the others are also so yeah, good. Are also giving you that boost. How lovely. That's such a wonderful way to put it. <laughs> now, I have been told, rumour has it, there is a fourth as well. Yes. What are you going to tell us about that? No, it's no more a rumour. <laughs> we have to put up our hands and say, yes, that's true. Surya is uh, playing uh, an incredible last minute appearance. Fab. Yeah, that should take the story a little further, mm. probably into part three. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's talk also about the other star in this, which is Lokesh Kanagraj, yeah. right? Uh, what an incredible <coughs> directorial voice he is. But I was thinking, you know, you've done this now for what, six decades? Uh, yeah. um, you yeah. and I was just trying to think of, is there any part of filmmaking that you haven't been part of? You've even played the heroine, right? <laughs> <laughs> so. So, sir, as a 
artist, when you are so accomplished, how do you surrender to the vision of someone else? It's, it's very comfortable. Either you drive the car mm. or you're driven. What's more comfortable than being driven in such traffic? But you don't do backseat driving. No, that, 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 that's never the right thing to do. Yeah. Because you might end up <laughs> crashing up. Yeah. So I, I think he, he, he took to the uh, uh, job uh, very well and great enthusiasm. Mm. And we are only concerned when we have lazy people helping stuff. When yeah. we get, get worried. But this man was like, we have to tell him, take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't push it. What did you learn from him? Do you are, you are you constantly watching other artists? See, he... Uh, I believe in the printed word. Everybody should be on the same page. But uh, he is not too worried about that. Probably because he has many people and he takes care of uh, little things like the background and that. And he, he doesn't, he's not squeamish about changes that happen. So he improvises? Yeah, he lets us improvise and just watches and sort of sculpts it. So for that, you need professional kind of uh, trained people doing that because then it can go every which way. Yeah. So that's what I found surprising. For me, I'm very nervous. I keep. You're nervous? Uh, always. Because the written word. With a slight accent, it, it becomes something else. Yeah. The, the, the comma falling at the wrong place, or as I say, somebody trying to steal the show, or trying to play it on the nose. Yeah. You, you have to be very careful, and I get worried. So, I when I direct, I do so much rehearsal that it's etched in their mind. Mm -hmm. And when they improvise, they don't, don't even know that they are improvising. Right. They go with the flow. But Lokesh is not one for rehearsals. Ah, he is not. He, he would suddenly give a new line. I thought of this. What do you think? But that's not what we were thinking of. He was going to say something. What if he says that? Then it becomes, what if he says that? <laughs> and it builds. It's very interesting. I started acting when I was three. Film has been my companion from then on. So I think film companion is something one should subscribe to. I will, you should.